All right, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna do another Tate product review slash just shaving because I enjoy shaving and if I like it, you might as well like it with me. Uh, today's soap we're gonna use is a new one I've never tried before. I've been dying to try it, but it's pipe smoke from Uncle John's shave, shave soap. There we go. Figure it out. So again, it's really good. The scent is cherry pipe smoke. And that's what you get. It's a definitely a warm scent. Definitely, I'm all about the warm scents in the winter. Kind of like comfort food. Mmm, I like comfort food too. That's why I'm a pudgy guy. Uh, we'll finish it off today with the actual same scent. I love pairing off scents. Pipe smoke. Wait for it. Too close. There we go. There we figured it out. So we'll see how it does today. We'll go from there. This was actually a gift from the Secret Santas of the East Coast Wet Shaving Community. If you're on the east side, look it up on Facebook. ECWS. A great group of guys. I mean, I don't know exactly. I mean, over a dozen participated, but everybody gave somebody. I gave somebody a, a gift. Seems like Uncle John's was the big list this year. Everybody, a lot of people won the Uncle John's. I actually gave out the McCool Uncle John's, which the guy really liked. Uh, hopefully, we'll be seeing some of that later. But enough of me. Yep, 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 yep. Let's get on with the shave. So here's what the puck looks like. It's a soft, not a hard puck. Uh, ingredients are coconut oil, tallow, shea butter, castor oil, ceric acid, glycerin, fragrance. I can pronounce it. I can say it all. Uh, today we'll be using the the purest synthetic. Let's see if that helps it out any. Nope, 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 nope. Anyways, we'll be using that one. I'll be using my Machu Picchu mug. Love this thing. Don't know why it works so well. Maybe it's the ancient Aztecs. Aztecs, yeah. All right, we'll do a 10 second load, see how it goes. I have heard that his soaps are on the thirsty side, so I just shook this brush out barely. 10 second load up. We already lathered it up. Let's give it a minute in the bowl. It's kind of a, it's not really white, but it's not dark either. It's like a, a, a light tan. Let's go with that. And what I'm actually going to try to do today, see if it helps. I've got the Mr. Coffee uh, coffee mug warmer. Let me go ahead and turn that on. And I'm going to let this sit on there and see if it gives me a nice warm lather. I mean, the lather already, um, it's just incredible. Like, it, it took nothing to lather this up. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Alright. So, good night. Like, it, it's whipped cream consistency. I mean... The lather's not going anywhere. Do the test. Remember? If you're, well, unfortunately it's all sitting on the sides, but if you stand the brush straight up, you got a good lather. All right. Put this on the warmer with the old whiskers, and then we'll get on. Oh, that smells good. All right, let's see. Oh, I will be using the uh, trusty Dovo. I am starting to be on the hunt for a new straight. Terrible at this. Sorry, I'm on the hunt looking at antique stores. Um, I want an antique. I've got a new one. I don't need a new one.
I mean, the lather's already there. And in case you're wondering, I got plenty of soaps after shaves for Christmas. And we will be reviewing and using the crap out of them. Alright, this is this is one of the thickest lathers I've had. Brush is starting to fall apart. Good thing got a new one for Christmas. Brush your hair. Brush your hair. You guys guess. Brush. Alright. I mean, look at that. That's just ridiculous. That's a lot. That's, this might be the best lather I've had so far. That's saying a lot because I got a uh, healthy addiction to the, sh to the wet shaving supplies. Alright. Let's uh, see if I remember how to use this thing since it's been so long. <laughs> Just kidding. Look around the camera. Super slick, like crazy slick. Residual, dry. Put a little moisture on it. Man, yeah, it's it's super slick. Man. Yeah, that's my first dive into Uncle John soaps. And it won't be the last. Scent strength not terribly strong. I'd say four or five. It's there, you can smell it there, but it's not the uh, punch in the throat like I'm used to on some scents. It's been a while since I've done this in a camera. Definitely a relaxing scent. pass could not ask for anything any better all right wet it down try again yeah once you wet it you can definitely feel the slickness is still there let's see how this uh this warm mr coffee mug warmer does <laughs> Oh yeah guys.
I'll put a link in the description. $10 on Amazon. And you got a warm lather. You cannot beat that. And actually, I got the idea from Ryan from Skulls and Beards, another Facebook group. But we'll be doing a video for that using it on the wax for the, the old Stasharuni. So we'll see how that goes. But he says it helps it heat it up so you're not staying with the hair dryer all day. Alright. See if I remember how to do this cross grain or cross my face. Ooh, got a little nick on the ear. That'll teach me to get cocky. Ugh. Too slick. Need to buy an Allen block. Oh. I like it. Soap doesn't dissipate. I've had some do that. That's annoying when you got to relather. I'm a little disappointed in the Wade and Butcher straight razors. They said this year, early in the year, that they were going to be putting out a new Wade and Butcher. They're going to fire their stamps back up and get back at it. It's now December 26th, and I don't think they're going to make this year. So a little disappointed. I was hoping to get one. I was going to try to pick one of those up. But all right, let's do this last pass. I'll quit PPD yapping, and we'll get we'll get this over. Yeah, don't pick up your mug. It does get hot at the bottom. Interesting. All right, so it's a little hot. Again, still, I'm doing my third pass, and there's lather for days. So I'm turning this over so you can see. Get out of my face. Lather for days. The smoking? Maybe it's a little too hot. Maybe you shouldn't do it. 
and it's warm. Maybe with a mug you're safer. Not something you bought for five dollars at Machu Picchu. You live and you learn, right? Let's cut this throat. No, 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 not really. I wish I could take that up, but I'm looking a little rusty. I got some weepers there, weepers there. Maybe you guys shouldn't be watching this. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, so cold water rinse. Stick dick pin these uh these weepers up and then I'll hit the old aftershave. Man, I got a lot of weepers. I may need to slow down. Maybe I'll get the face a couple of days off. Getting ready to fly up to Cleveland, see my daughter. If I got time to kill, maybe we'll do a live video from there. If not, it's my daughter's time. Sorry, guys. My little munchkin is the number one thing. All right. The old styptic pen. Burns like the Dickens. Blood. Alright. So. That seep in for a second. Let's get ready to. The old 
after shave Arumi. Again, not too strong. Wow, this really, like it smelled like cherry pipe tobacco before. This smells like I'm putting my face right in the tobacconist jar of uh, pipe tobacco. I don't think he could have got that scent any better if he wanted to. I'm bravo, sir. Bravo. Scent strength, not, not terribly strong. Again, like a five. Like You can wear this all day unless somebody's close to you. They're not going to know it. Ingredients on this is witch hazel aloe glycerin fragrance. I like it simple. Directions shake well before use. Apply directly to your face after you shave. Done and done. Oh. Yeah, it's a great scent. Love it. Alright, so again, you guys have made it this far. Thanks for watching. Really need to get a hobby because this ain't no hobby to watch. Just kidding. I appreciate it. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody up in here. We're shaving. Till next time, stay safe.